Hello friends, welcome to CNC Programming Club. In today's session, we will be discussing about planar profile operation in NX manufacturing. Planar profile operation is mostly being used when we wanted to remove the material across the boundary or from the periphery of the component like this. For this exercise, we have selected a component from the Geneva mechanism and we will remove material from this periphery or the boundary of the component. Now let's start manufacturing, go to application, then manufacturing and select cam general and mill planner option from here. Now let's start with the step number one, go to create tool. I will retrieve the tool from the library. So click on retrieve tool, select the milling tool and specify the diameter of the tool that you want to use. I will be using 12 millimeter diameter. So let me write 12 millimeter in this, click OK. And as you can see, all the 12 millimeter diameter tool will be displayed. Out of this, I will select the end mill option and click OK. Click cancel and go to machine tool view and here you can see the tool if you click on the tool the tool will be displayed now let's go to geometric view and let's start with the step number two and specify the workpiece and the blank so just double click on the workpiece and the first option is to specify part click on specify part and select the component then after we have to specify blank click here and out of these options, I have to choose the most preferable option for the blank, which is part outline, which means that it will generate the outline of the offset distance. Let me enter 2 millimeter as the offset distance. And as you can see, in X and Y direction only, it will generate the offset phase. In Z, it will not be preparing any offset plan as the ZM plus and ZM minus is 0. This option is mostly being used when we just wanted to have offsetted phase in X and Y plan only. Click OK to confirm it. Now, let's specify MCS mill. As you can see that our MCS lies at the bottom of the workpiece. In order to shift from bottom to the top, we just need to have the thickness of the component. Now, let's measure the thickness. Go to analysis. Click on measure distance, select the top and the bottom edges and as you can see the thickness is 10 millimeter. Now just double click on MCS and enter the thickness value 10 millimeter in Z coordinate. And now you can see the MCS has been shifted from bottom surface to the top surface. Click OK to confirm it. Now step number one as well as step number two is over. Let's start with step number three and go to create operation. With this time we will be selecting planner profile option. In program we will select NC program. In tool we will select the tool that we have prepared which is end mill dia 12 millimeter. In geometry we have to select workpiece and in method we have to select mill finish. Now first thing that we have to do is specify part boundary. So click on specify part boundary and select the age option. Now here let me just define part boundary for this region only. For that since this region is open I will select this as open. Start selecting the cows. Let me select this three cow. And as you can see that the material is on the left side. So we have to select the left option from this. If the material is on the right side, then you have to select right in this case. Click OK. Now let's specify the blank boundary. So click on specify blank boundary. Select the cows or ages option. The blank will also be open. So let me click open option in this. Select the blank boundaries. And as you can see that the blank is on the right side of this line. So I have to select right option in this and click OK. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to specify the floor. 
So click on this, rotate the workpiece and select the bottom surface and click OK. Now let's generate the toolpath. Now as you can see our toolpath has been generated. Now let's simulate it. Select the 3D dynamic option, reduce the simulation speed and run the simulation. As you can see our machining has been done. Now let me explain the selection process of part boundaries and blank boundaries in another way. So go back to planner profile, click on specify part boundaries, click on remove to remove the previously prepared part boundaries. And as you can see that the boundaries has been gone. Now select curves or edges option, select open option in this and select this side first, second and the third one. And as you can see the material is onto the right side of this curve or edges. So we have to select material side as right and click OK. Now the same way we have to change the blank boundaries. So click on specify blank boundaries, click on remove to remove the previously prepared blank boundaries. Go to curves and edges, select this open option into this and select this edge first, second and the third. Now as you can see that the blank will be onto the left side of this edge. So in material side you have to select left and click OK. Click on generate toolpath. Let's verify the toolpath. As you can see the, both the process will remain same but this is what the selection of the part and blank boundaries. Click OK. Now let's do the same process for the entire component. Let's go to planner profile, click on specify part boundaries, remove the previously prepared part boundaries and this time I can select the face option and here is the face and as you can see the boundary will be select which is the periphery of the face and this time the material will be inside. So we have to select material side as inside and click OK. Now let's go to specify blank boundaries. First we will remove the previously prepared blank boundaries and this time also we will be selecting face option and we have the face. Now the blank will be onto the outer side. So we have to select material side as outer side and click OK. Here we have to select material side as outside and click OK. We have to specify floor but which is already been specified so we don't need to repeat it and click on generate toolpath. Click OK and let's verify the toolpath. The entire process is done. Now if I want to do it in multiple cuts, go back to planner profile, specify the depth of cut in here. Let me specify 2 millimeter depth of cut, total thickness is 10 millimeter. If I set 2 millimeter as constant depth of cut, which means it will cut in 5 cut levels. Click on generate toolpath and here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, total 5 cut levels are defined. Now click on verify toolpath and run the simulation.
so that's all related to planar profile operation if you are having any doubts related to this topic kindly put that at comment if you really like our sessions please like share subscribe and comment thank you so much